Boom! Oh, yeah! Now that's how you make an entrance. It's the new game from Rata! I just can't wait to fire this one up on the Series X. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? What the heck? Howdy, folks, and welcome to Green Farm Gaming. And this is our review of... Donuts and Justice. I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. It was developed by FUBT Interactive. It was published by those crafty guys over at Rattalaka. Rattalaka! It is set to be released on June 4th for 499. Oh, language. Okay, WTF, why the face? That's okay. Get ready. Okay, Donuts and Justice. Wow. Talk about pinning the tail on the donkey. I do have to say, they got the attitude right for this one. The basic flat, narrow color palette actually works really well for this shallow arcade style shooter. It's a simple run and gun in the vein of many of the beat em up side scrollers that filled the arcades while I was growing up. Obviously, this game ties itself back to a time when being a cop was actually cool. Ultra combo. Now, I'm not so sure that today's police force would ever be so glorified in video games in Hollywood ever again. If they ever made this same game using modern cops, it probably would carry an AO rating and uh, only be distributed on the dark web being called something like civilian murderers. Monster combo. But on to happier topics, let's look at this game, shall we? Donuts and Justice is a light-hearted pixel art game that doesn't take itself too seriously. It's a short 20-minute completion that doesn't require a high skill level to fumble through, and for the most part, you'll just mindlessly kind of move to the right and shoot everything that moves. You can try to avoid the random civilian running straight at you through a barrage of gunfire. <laughs> they may as well just throw themselves in front of a speeding bus as far as I'm concerned. Cash, weapon power-ups, and collectibles are plentiful as they come bursting out of every bad guy that you take each human life before they have a chance of due processing in the courtroom. I'd say this is a pretty bad day for anybody who happens to be walking down the street wearing blue jeans, a Fu Manchu, and sunglasses. The new weapons you receive will allow you to further your reign of terror in the streets as you continue to fill the screen with endless amounts of stray bullets, which quickly turns this side-scroller into almost like a semi-bullet hell as you weave your way through the waves of gunfire thrown in your general direction. Donuts and Justice emulates a lot of the features we've seen before in other action arcade shooters. The energy remains high throughout your playthrough with the help of the accompanying soundtrack and the use of bright, high contrasting colors. I'm not in love with the sprite-based pixel graphics, and I find it to be a mix of lazy programming and a small indie developer just planning for a smaller scope game. But I guess if you're a small indie developer like Fob T and you stand there and look across your development team and realize you're standing in front of a mirror looking at yourself, the game is pretty awesome! A single playthrough was enough to fill my achievement bucket for the evening, and I won't be returning to D&J anytime in the near future. So, if you're an achievement hunter or a trophy hunter or or just somebody that likes little indicators to pop up at the bottom or top of your screen, put this one on your buy it now list before it comes off of the week one discount. Buy it now! You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink it, dumbass! My mother told me a million times not to exaggerate, so we're leaving donuts with two beans out of five. Well, that wraps up this review. We do them every week, covering new and unreleased console indie titles that are either easy achievement and trophy completions, or have really blown our socks off. 
To help celebrate the American Independence Day, the Bean Farm and eight other content creators pulled our extra Xbox game codes together to create a massive giveaway of over 300 games. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> to throw your hat into the ring, just find the announcement on the Bean Farm Twitter feed or search for In-Depth Gaming on Twitter. The winners will be announced after the 4th of July celebration. Special thanks goes out to the sponsors of this giveaway, ID at Xbox, Liquid Bit Games, Zydalon, Rabalaka, Renoco Games, and Studioness. We really do owe much of our content support to these small studios and publishers. Be sure to visit again next week. We'll be covering the new release from Rabalaka. Angels and Scooby Wings. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you next time on The Frog.